I bet you that's going to end up being one of the most played songs of the year this you know, year. I, I kind of feel like, like that, like the James Otto song. Exactly. Remember how much yeah. they play that guy? Yep. That's going to be the same way. I think so. Chris Young getting you home to Black Dress Song on WEZL. 627, get them up back to school, Berkeley and Dorchester County and Charleston County. Time to go, Just boys get them all and back girls. Time get them to up. go. Uh, we were talking yesterday morning about uh, memories of school, I guess, and somebody reminded me who saw the uh, video of, of that part of the show on the web yesterday. Uh, I was talking about Mr. Harris Woodson, who was the guy who... Uh, beat you with a stick? He used to jab slap me and, right. and right. beat me with a yeah. stick and yeah. slap me in the back of the head with his right. class ring and, right. and dig stingers out of your back. And all the great memories <laughs> of school. Stuff. Loved him, loved him. <laughs> loved, loved him. And he called me Little Doc. That's that's because my dad was a doctor there in town. And, and, and Dad never had time to do... Things. He never had time to, for fishing and all that He's stuff. Working. He was always working because he was also the coroner and, yeah. and other, other stuff. And um, so he had buddies like Woodson who would uh, take me to do things. Mm-hmm. Uh, like Mr. Cup always took me fishing. And, and Woodson is the guy who ta- he, he, ta- he took me hunting. I'd never been hunting. <laughs> and Woodson uh, took me hunting. I borrowed a shotgun and, and uh, he took me squirrel hunting. And and uh, I got a reminder yesterday about this. I'd forgotten it. Uh, Anthony said, "Weren't you the one who Woodson took hunting and told that there was a three squirrel limit and you only took three shells?" <laughs> <laughs> that could have been shot, huh? I <laughs> uh, see. Yep, that was me. You're, you're a little confident, aren't you? Well, I didn't know. He said, that, <laughs> "He said, remember, there's a limit: three squirrels, and I took three shells. I borrowed a shotgun and three shells. Oh, well, good. Nice. Yep, and I got two squirrels out did of it. Did you really? I sure did. Uh-huh. I got so it, it worked. It, but I, uh, they, they, he took me. He used to take me fishing. I mean, it, those guys, those teachers back then were like family. Oh, yeah. They really were. I mean, they were they were extended family back. Sure, then. they were absolutely. Uh, and 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 they were there because you only had the one school mm-hmm. until you were in the eighth grade, and then you went on to high school. That's right. And and uh, I mean, you had the same teachers every year, so they all they knew you from yeah. the time you were little till the time you you know went to jail. So it was like a little house on the prairie. Y'all just had that one room. Well, no, it was, both of them were pretty good sized schools. Oh, okay. I mean, there was we had about I think a you know a few hundred people in the high school. And you changed classes and all that. Yeah, right? we did all that. Yeah. <laughs> we even had one building had an upstairs downstairs in it. <laughs> did it really? Sure did. It's where the principal lived. <laughs> yeah. Had all the science classes up on, on on the top floor and all the English classes on the bottom floor mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff. But uh, those those uh, and then somebody suggested yesterday that I remind of some of the stuff that we did to the teachers, which made them angry enough to hit us with sticks and the back of the head and stuff. But I thought, you know what, with school just starting this yeah. year, yeah, we don't want to put any uh, probably ideas. seeds. Because most of the stuff that we did, uh, and most of the stuff the teachers did to us, that we'd all go to jail for that now. Uh-huh. For vandalism or something, and the teachers would go to jail for abuse. And yeah. I mean, it's just a completely different world. you never world. really did anything that bad in school, did you? Well, I, mean, what? I didn't. No, I was a good fellow. He was just an accessory. I was. I just, <laughs> That's what they right. call an accessory. I just knew about stuff. Worst thing I ever did in school was roll a 55-gallon drum down the football bleachers into the field. That's that's. I mean, during a game? No, just, <laughs> there's nobody there. But it sure made a lot of noise. They come get you. And there was somebody in the barrel. Oh, <laughs> oh well, there he, he neglected to tell us that <laughs> part. <laughs> it sounded fairly innocent to that last little. Because if I'm not mistaken, they killed somebody on the Sopranos that way once, didn't they? No, they had that one full of concrete. Now, yeah. wait a second. The, the person in the barrel, was he a willing participant? Yeah, it was just to see how it was going to be going down. It really wasn't a long yeah, row of bleachers. Now they visit him over at the home. <laughs> yeah. He never got over that. <laughs> He always walked funny after that. He never had much to do with us after that, that's for sure. <laughs> and boy, it made a lot of noise. <laughs> that's funny. Most of it was him screaming.